Hey everyone, welcome to today's speed build. So this is actually my second attempt at doing an underground house. Um, I had done a complete house underground and then reached a point where I didn't know how to make something work. So I started on Google looking for underground builds and actually came across a house that Avalon did. And I'm going to link that video down in the description below because it made me completely scrap my first idea and then do this one because it just, I really like the concept she went with. So I sort of, I didn't copy it, but it was heavily inspired from the build she did. Um, yeah, so this house is big enough for two parent sims and two either child or teenage sims. I did use bunk beds, so there's two in one room. And then there's also two terrarium style rooms in this house. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but to me it is because they're partially open and it's just plants in there like the Sims can't go in there. So I think that's what a terrarium is. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not quite sure. But I like doing underground builds because you don't have to think about the floor plan too much. Like there's no roof to build. You can just add rooms wherever you want. It's pretty cool. I did build this in Oasis Springs, so I kept with the desert plant theme. I went with palm trees, cacti, rocks, and sand. Uh, I also put the swimming pool in this house, and you can see the swimming pool from the kitchen and living and dining areas, but not the bedrooms. Because, you know, if someone's swimming, you don't want them watching you sleep. That's kind of creepy, I think. It took me a couple tries to get what plants I wanted in here. Yeah, I went through like four different rotations, but this is what I ended up going with. Just the like simple cacti and a little bit of ground cover. Because the opening into the house, it does count as a room, so you can't do terrain tools on there. So I just had to do the dirt tile. I think, I think it's a base game tile, but it may be island living. Not quite sure on that one. I did use quite a few packs in this build. I like the look of the vines on the walls too. It just gave it like a true, true like nature feel, I guess. I don't know. I really liked how those terrarium rooms came out. I thought they looked really good. Maybe a little biased since I built it, but still. And playing with the sizing down of those debug bushes worked really well too. It just helps the um, open areas blend into the natural surroundings a little bit more and then I do go in with some terrain paint and make it look a little bit better I think. If you don't know how to get to the debug items I do have the cheat codes listed down below but I think I've talked about this before I use a mod to do it it's better build by that's also linked in the description box it just means you don't have to enter any cheat codes. They're just there in the regular catalog for you. I've never used these counters in a kitchen build before. I've used them in my workspace and in living rooms before. And every time I use them, I get compliments on them. So I decided to actually use them in a kitchen for once. I kept the feel of the like industrial modern look with the seating area too, I just kept like the metals and the dark wood grains. I do like how it turned out and I kept that feel for all the flooring in the house too. The worn or mismatched wood look, I think I kind of like that. I figured it worked well with the style build too, more of a natural build because they're surrounded by the plants. And of course my little lighting for the kitchen. <laughs> I really wanted to use that square island living trash can, but it's too big. I mean, it's meant to be an outdoor trash can anyhow, but it had that worn wood look. I just ended up going with the round base game one instead. I didn't want to use real curtains because these are meant to be see-through. So I just did those little city living, I don't know, bead dangling curtains, I think they are. Just added a little something because there's not much wall space in this build. Uh, most of it is just windows or the doors. It's kind of hard to get lighting in an underground build unless you have all the windows. So you don't really want to cover them up too much. Added a couple clutter items into the glass cabinets. I didn't really go too clutter heavy in this build. I kept it rather simple. 
I've been playing in a few of my builds, and I've realized that sometimes the clutter interferes with what the Sims are able to interact with. I don't know what the reason is, because sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It doesn't really seem to matter if they're floating or not either, so I'm not sure what that's about. Could just be a glitch on my end, but I've been trying to clutter less of the counters because of that. I hardly ever get to use this corner couch, but I think it fit really well into this room. Not too many color swatches I liked, but I still decided to keep it just because, you know, I hardly ever get to use it. Each room has its own color theme too, so like the dining and kitchen area had that dark wood and black feel, and then this room here definitely has the green color theme with a little bit of gray or the other way around, <laughs> gray with a little bit of green. And then the bedrooms each have their own color scheme too. I did end up doing the teens or children's room in a blue and the parents' rooms in a pink, but I don't know. To me, I don't think colors are gender specific. So if you wanted to have girl children and two male Sims for parents, I still think that works. They might just like that color. As a female myself, I definitely prefer blue over pink. <laughs> I never get to use, or I never get to, I never choose to use the funky wood colors for the floors, so I thought this was a good time to throw that green flooring in. I like how it's sort of worn down too. I don't know if that was from the Spooky Pack or Outdoor Retreat. I think I went back and forth between both of those. I think that might be the outdoor retreat one though. These new bunk beds, I like how you can put any single bed underneath. I did go through quite a few options to pick out swatches that matched because I really wanted the cohesive color scheme throughout the room. And then again with picking the tables, I went through a couple different choices. I wanted to see if the chairs would snap to that tiny like hallway console table, but they didn't. So I had to use the full size table. I didn't use a desk because I did want each of the children to have a place to sit. There's three computers in this house, but I figure, although it's not realistic for the real world, I think it's realistic for the Sims. Just added some simple wall decor in the room. Didn't go too crazy because the rooms are kind of small. I feel like the main feature of this build is the terrarium rooms and the fact that the whole house is, you know, underground. The floating objects on the beds, uh, they do glitch through your sims, but the beds are completely usable. They just sort of have floating stuffed animals on top of them sometimes, which, you know, whatever, it's fine. And I've been doing the crooked rugs more often. I feel like Especially for children in teens rooms, like, you know, if they vacuum or, like, run into the room and screw up the rug placement, they're not gonna fix it. Like, it's just gonna stay crooked. Little rubber ducky on the tub. I kept the same color scheme in their bathroom, too, just different shades of the blue. But I thought that, you know, since it's an ensuite bathroom sort of fit, I did the same in the master suite too, same color scheme throughout both the bedroom and bathroom. This one, I ended up going with the city living stuff and just sort of making it that ultra modern look. I couldn't decide really... I think my first intention with this build was to keep them sort of more off the grid, but then as I started decorating, especially with the industrial style kitchen, I liked that more modern feel, so I just sort of went with that. And I noticed there's not many decorations that are hot pink in The Sims, so this bathroom is really simple. I did like that dark, dark gray tile on the floor though. I think that, I would even like that in real life. I think that's sort of like a classy look, classic look classy, I don't know. I like how it looked. I'm not a pink fan, but black and hot pink, I really like the look of. But this muted light pink in the bedroom, no thank you, not my jam. I've never liked pink. 
I feel like curls usually go through a phase, but I've just never liked it ever. Purple's always been my preferred color. But this is the end of the build here, so I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. And of course, there's the montage and walkthrough at the end. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you come back for another one. Bye!